morning, ESM. Did you know that it's the eve of the eve of the eve of the eve of National Croc Day this Saturday the 23rd? Before we jump in, let's go on over to news and announcements. On October 9th, a man named Patrick Hempstead was in his home office checking emails when his wife yelled to him. She yelled to look out the front window of their house when he was surprised when he saw a herd of about 40 elk. One of them had a tire that had slipped down its neck in Pine, Colorado. Residents have been sending reports to the wildlife authorities for two years after spotting the same elk with a tire around its neck. Syracuse International Film Festival takes place 11 to the 4th this Saturday at Red House Arts Center. You must call to reserve your spot prior to attendance in accordance to COVID guidelines. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. To any student interested in, play, interested in playing baseball this spring, there will be an important meeting Thursday 1021 at 7.51 a.m. in D17. This is an important meeting for any 9th through 12th graders interested in playing baseball. See Coach Harrington with any questions. The Varsity Winter Guard will have their tryouts on Wednesday, October 20th in the high school small gym. Tryouts will run from 6.30 to 9 that evening. See you all there. The National Croc Day is really celebrated for the animal. The company Crocs likes to celebrate it differently. Every year leading up to the 23rd, Crocs wants you to celebrate their shoes by wearing them as much as you can. On the 23rd, Crocs releases a limited edition Croc only available for that day. In 2018, they released a gold clog. In 2019, they released a glow-in-the-dark clog. Well, in 2020, they released a clog with three sports mode straps. We're not able to tell you what they're releasing this year because there's still four more days until they release the Croc, but we can tell you a little bit about the Crocs we bought with us today. Uh, my first Croc is uh, one of the pairs or one shoe from my pair of American flag Crocs and it's got my little Captain America giblet on it. Well, my yellow Croc is a yellow Croc with an American flag that I brought, bought for Spirit Day freshman year. Um, and then I have a volleyball and a palm tree on it. I've got my good old glitter croc here with my emoji giblets and some Star Wars giblets as well. And then I have a maroon, burgundy, whatever you want to call it, with my initial and then a snowflake. Here I have my just plain purple croc and it's got some uh, Marvel Avengers giblets on it. Oh wait, I already did that one. <laughs> um, then I have a purple one with a skiing on it. Obviously, if you know me, I really love skiing. Here I have, it's a weird kind of clog. It doesn't have any of the holes in it, but it's just a tie-dye one. Actually, a lot of nurses end up wearing these when they work. And then my last two, I thought I'd share both of them because they're my favorite, obviously. Um, they have a lot of Star Wars charms because I really love Star Wars, and they have food because I love food. My last croc is my favorite, my cheetah print fuzzy croc with all of my sports giblets on it. I did play volleyball before. Softball is one of my favorite sports and of course basketball and baseball. And that's all for our crocs. Uh, after weather, we'll give you some fun croc facts. Today will be breezy with sunshine with a high of 66 and a low of 55. Today will be breezy um, with a high of 66 and a low of 55. Tomorrow there will be a high of 70 and a low of 53. And Wednesday there will be showers with a high of 69 and a low of 50. Crocs were originally made for boaters and first distributed in 2002 at a boat show. Crocs are made out of a foam resin called Crosslight. The Croc Man is their mascot. Crocs like to release other limited edition clogs every once in a while or if they collaborate with a person or company. Uh, we have some examples we're going to show you real quick. We've got the KFC Croc, which also comes with a platform. 
Yes, and that has a chicken wing on it. Uh, these are peep cracks. And here we've got some carrot cracks. Pretty interesting. And Lightning McQueen cracks, which they finally made in adult sizes, and I didn't get any. And uh, that is all we have to. Oh, wait, we have to do sports. <laughs> Let's put our cracks in sports mode and head over to sports. All right. The boys varsity volleyball team defeated Oswego last night three games to zero on senior night. The Spartans were led by senior setter Jake Franklin, who recorded a game high of 30 assists. Senior middle blocker Aiden Betts contributed with five kills, five aces, and three blocks. Also contributing were junior outside hitter Cole Thomas with 13 kills and junior middle blocker Ben Clappen with 11 kills. The Spartans are back at it tonight with a home game versus Midlake starting at 7 p.m. Congratulations to Rhiannon Butchko, Mallory Kramer, Kaylee Montana, Maureen McGinley, and Ellie Mancini for qualifying to compete in the prestigious Section 3 Gymnastics Championship on Friday. These gymnast gymnasts will vie for the top honors against some of the best athletes in Central New York. Good luck, gymnasts. All right, thank you all for watching. Tune in tomorrow for the bullying show with Abby and Christina.